Okay, so I got a simple trick to tell you about that's going to make audiences absolutely love you when you're performing, and it's going to make them want to tip you more. And it's something you can use on your next gig. So let's get to it. Hey, and welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. So a lot of musicians when performing put little to no effort in engaging their audience. At most they do the thing where they announce the name of the song that they're going to play in like this really monotone voice and then you know say thank you at the end of that song to that one person that's clapping for them in the audience like and at worst, they just sit there and perform without doing anything or saying anything at all to engage the audience or keep their interest. Making people question their decision about coming to a place where there's live music. And they wonder why they don't get many gigs. But it's so important that when you're performing, you put effort into making the audience that's there listening to you feel comfortable and feel a sense of delight about what you're doing on stage. But most of all, making sure you keep their attention and interest and make sure they're having fun. This gives them a sense of intrigue and involvement about what you're doing on stage. And not only does this make it easier for you because you don't have to focus so much on playing the notes so perfectly well or singing them so perfectly well, but it makes you become their favorite, which is what you want. And there's a really cool way to do this that works like 99.9999% of the time. And it's a simple trick that you've seen a hundred times, but you've probably just written it off as like silly or a gimmick of some sort. But that simple trick is the karaoke method. I know, I know, I know. You hear the word karaoke and you roll your eyes. And I'm gonna talk about how to do it properly, but just for a second, take your own thoughts and perspectives off of the term karaoke and think about how audiences see and feel about karaoke. Karaoke bars are some of the most popular venues in the world. It's the reason you've seen a lot of clubs and bars start to incorporate karaoke nights at their venues. And just think about it for a second. Have you ever seen anybody participating in karaoke and not having fun? So taking this method of fun and incorporating it in what we do in our performances and our shows, not only makes the audiences love us more because we're giving them the fun, but it also makes us a lot more valuable to the venues we're playing for. But there is a way to do it that's a little bit less like traditional karaoke that you can use to your advantage. And again, it's what I call the karaoke method. And let me break it down for you. So you definitely wanna have some popular songs that are from the radio that people are familiar with in your set list that you can do this with. But you also wanna have what we called B-side songs back in the cassette tape days, which are songs that were on the B-side of cassettes that you know a lot of people weren't that familiar with. And here's how you set it up. So at some point in your show or performance, you're going to tell the audience that you're going to call someone up on stage to sing a song with you. And if they get the lyrics right to the song, they'll win a gift. And the gift could be one of your CDs or some of your merch like t-shirts or something like that if you have them. But it also could be something really simple like a 10 or $20 gas card or an Amazon card. And of course a gas card would work really well these days. But telling the audience this before you do it builds anticipation and excitement. So you could tell them this like right before you go on a break for example. And then once you're ready to do this, what you do is pick that person from the audience and call them up on stage and ask them their name. And then you introduce them to the audience. You say, hey audience, this is Sarah, for example. Say hello to Sarah. Or if it goes, you could use a pun like, hey audience, this is Sarah. Say Sarah smile, get it? And then explain that you're going to start playing this song, you or your band, and if she gets the lyrics right to say the first verse of the song, she wins the gift. And at this point, you have the audience's attention for sure. So get them involved and have them root for Sarah. Say, everybody say, go Sarah, go, or whatever the case may be, right? And then you can start the song. And for this, you could use one of those B-side songs that I mentioned that Sarah is surely not to know all of the lyrics to, right? 
So you let her do it and let her mess it up even if she doesn't know any of the lyrics. Just let her mess it up. Then you abruptly cut off the music and say something like, wow, you didn't know any of that, huh? You know, or some sort of tease where you tease her for not knowing the lyrics. And then what you do, you tell her she can try again. She can have another chance with another song. And this time you choose a song to play or perform that's a little bit more familiar, but something that she probably still won't know all of the lyrics to. And like Michael Jackson songs work really well for this because nobody knows all of the lyrics to his songs, even the more popular ones. And then Sarah will likely go through this process again and mess up these lyrics as well. And then you stop abruptly again, and then you can do something like call another person up on stage to help her with the lyrics, right? And then you let them both try to perform the song. And this really works well if it's somebody that was there at the table, like, or that you see that came with Sarah, because they're friends and they'll probably work well together on this. And it's typically what you see in karaoke. You see friends doing karaoke. And then of course, when the friend comes up, you introduce them the same way and then have the audience root for them again. Now remember, the point here is not to have Sarah and or her friend get all of the lyrics right to the song. You're going to give her the prize or them the prize either way it goes. The point here is about audience attention, involvement, entertainment, and engagement. So then you end this by saying great job or congratulations and you know giving them the prize and telling the audience to give them a round of applause for their efforts and for winning the prize and then you invite them off the stage. And this is golden because what you've done here is you've created excitement and engagement for your audience. You've given Sarah and her friend like a really cool memory, a really cool moment that they can talk about at the table and you've given the entire audience something to remember you by. And by doing this, you will not only see a whole lot more tips in your tip jar, but you'll get a lot more of those moments where people are coming up to you after the gig and asking you for your contact because they want to have that same sort of fun at whatever events that they're having. And that's because now to them in their mind, you're a fun artist or a fun band and they want you at their events. Now to get more really cool information about entertaining an audience and taking your performances to the next level, click the screen and check out this video now.